So now in this video, we have a couple LEDs here wired in parallel. So the voltage is gonna go across both of them independently. The red LED is gonna start lighting up when the voltage gets high enough uh, before the blue LED. So there we go, we got that. Uh, it went up enough, we get a trickle of current through the blue LED, but uh, it's basically off, the red LED is on. We can uh, lower this a little bit so that the red LED is on, blue LED is off. Um, we could use the higher zener voltage to, to make it take longer for the blue one, but for the demonstration purposes, uh, this is what we got. So blue LED, or red LED is lit up right now. We have a 330 ohm resistor. Uh, they don't get as bright at higher current, so we can use a lower value resistor. We have a reverse bias zener down. So again, they're in series order does not matter. This uh, makes a better jumper to ground than an LED and uh, simpler than taking an extra jumper. But uh, we got the voltage drops of both the zener down and the red LED, which are both lower than what we have down here. 3.3 volt zener down. That's why it's a reverse bias. So cathode, the uh, black band there is more positive. Anode side without a band right there is more negative. It's going to build up about 3.3 volts approximately before it conducts current. And then red LED drops about 2 volts before it starts conducting current. Um, but in case, there we got it going. We have the blue one, so we can expect 5 volts, uh, about 3 volts, so usually about 8 volts. But it does let a little bit of current go through at uh, lower voltages. So I will raise the voltage, and you can see that the blue LED starts lighting up. That's 7, 8, 9 volts right there. And now we'll zoom back, look at the power supply, 3 volts, they're both off completely, as you can see there, uh, 4 volts, red LED starts uh, glowing a bit, 5, 6, gets brighter, uh, looks like 6 volts there, blue LED starts uh, glowing a little bit, a little trickle going through, 7 volts, it's uh, going up, but there you can see, 8 volts, we got decent current going through both of them, and 9 volts is about where I want to stop in this circuit. So as we saw, this should take about 5 volts to really be on. That should take about 8 volts to really be on. But at lower voltages, both of their voltage drops uh, go down. And so you do get a trickle of current at lower voltages, which isn't all bad if you like that effect where it, uh, you know, fades down and uh, fades back up as the voltage changes. And the blue LED doesn't need as much current to be bright, so it has a higher value resistor to limit the current more. And uh, the red LED does need a significant amount more current than the blue one to be the same brightness. So we got a lower value, as I mentioned before. So um, that really about uh, covers it. If you just want to turn them on or off, though, you would probably want to use like an op amp or something that it will turn it on or off when the supply voltage is a particular voltage. That will be an upcoming circuit.